Hello, this is Joe from Serta UPS. Today I'll be showing you how to download, install and configure WinPower. So first of all, to make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of the software, if you head to our website at certaups.com, then go to the download section, scroll down until you get to the software section and underneath that you'll see a heading for WinPower setup. So if you just click the orange arrow, that will start the download. Once the download is finished, you can go ahead and open the zip folder. Inside there, you'll find another folder called WinPower Setup Windows. So if you open that and then double click setup.exe, that will begin the installation. It'll take a few minutes for the software to unpack and start the installation. So once the installation has begun, you can click next on the first screen. Uh, on the second screen where it asks you to enter the serial number, you can enter the serial number found within the product manual. Click next, next, next again. And finally, you can click install. Again, it'll take a few minutes to install the software, but it's a relatively quick process. So once the software is installed, you can press done and you'll see a new icon on your desktop and in your system tray, you'll see a plug shaped icon. So if you double click that, it'll start the service. So once the software has loaded on the left hand side here, you can see a list of devices. At the minute we've got non connected or non attached to the WinPower software. So all we can see is the name of the current PC. So we're going to go ahead and add a device. So first you want to go to system and act as administrator. The default password is administrator with a capital A. So enter that and press OK. And then again, go to system, but this time press auto search device. So at this point, if your UPS is connected via ethernet or USB, it should find that machine straight away. So you can see now if you, next to the desktop, you can see a little plus arrow, so you can press that and then USB and you can see the UPS we've just added. So if you click on that machine, you can see a status diagram. Um, so you can see the input voltage, output voltage, load, battery voltage. So we can go ahead and switch this machine into standby mode. And then you can see it says UPS output off and the diagram reflects the operation. So as well as monitoring the status of the UPS live, you can also set up email alerts and shut down parameters for the computer it's connected to. So first of all, for the email alerts, if you go to tools and email settings, here's where you can fill out your default settings for whichever email client you want to use. So in our case, I'm just give an example with Gmail. So you want to enter your username. And password. And then we're going to add a receiver's email address. So I'll use the same email address for this demonstration that we've used to actually send the emails. It's okay there. Tick that and then underneath there you can see a list of UPS messages that you are interested in. So for us we're going to set a UPS battery low, UPS output overload, uh, AC fail on bypass and press OK. So I'm going to go ahead and fail the power on this unit now. So you can see straight away we're getting that alert. And now if I go to this email client, you can see that emails come through straight away saying AC failure. And again, now I've plugged the power back in, we can see USB input power restored. So as well as setting up the email parameters, another common feature that people use is the shutdown parameters. So if you go to device and then shutdown parameters, you can see all the options here so you can shut down the machine when 
the battery level falls below a certain percentage or after a certain time, whatever is applicable for your setup. So the default is to set the battery shut down after 40% capacity. So that's okay there. So that concludes a screencast of how to install and configure WinPower. We've set up the email settings and the device shutdown parameters. But as you can see in the menu, there's lots more options to set up and configure if you need them. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.